Canteen's bed first. Jesus. Can you talk now that I'm um, we'll just recording it? Can you like that? We're cutting cover. What have you got? Some of the scarecrow. When we first learned about Ian having renal problems, he was only 12 days old. And to think that your baby has something wrong with it is a frightening thought. We were very shocked. It was like a bombshell. Um, we felt very numb. And the thought of having this huge machine beside them, keeping them going, um, was very frightening. And to see them hooked up to these machines, they showed us what it would be like. Um, you think it's not going to happen to you. You, think, you read about it and it happens to everybody else's child, but you don't think it's going to happen to yours. Um, they showed us over a period of weeks how to use the machine, and we were supervised to set the machine up in the fluids and attach you to the machine. And then after, when they were happy with us, we were sent home, still under supervision, setting the machine up in front of the hospital staff. And then when they were happy with us, we were just left on our own to do it. When we came home with the machine, it became a lot easier um, with the dialysis. In your own home surroundings, you yeah, weren't yeah. as restricted. You had things yeah, yeah. where they were handy. And you got into your own routine of doing yeah, things. Yeah. Um, it took us a while to get used to um, being with the machine yeah, and yeah. We were a little frightened to go too far away at first to get back in time to do his machine. But now we've got into a good routine. As far as Ian's concerned, he's like any normal child during the day. But hooked up.